Hola YouTube, how are you doing? Yes, I have a lot of light in my eyes, so today I'm wearing my sunglasses, okay? Just to protect my eyes a little bit. They are a little bit tired of all the lights and all the screens. And safety is number one priority, right? Okay, so today I want to talk about the iPhone 4S. This device. Is it still uh, worthy to have one? Is it still a good device? Well, I don't know about the people out there, but my iPhone 4S is still a very good device. But I'm not using it as a phone. Of course, I could use it as a phone. But my provider was so nice to send me the iPhone 6, so I, I, you know, I have an extra device now to keep continuing creating videos. Because this thing, however, if you don't, if you never got an Apple car, then you will probably never know about it. But if you know you're a guy that want to you know take advantage of fantastic software uh, that you will find in the app store then i think you want you really want to buy an apple card from 15 euros or 15 dollars i'm not sure what it costs in your country but mine cost 15 euros and then you know a while ago i was kind of making a video of Splice, it was a video editor. At that time, I was still doing very amateur things, you know, on my iPhone. That while I could do professional video editing on the thing, but I just didn't know because nobody told me, you know. So, uh, when I was at the media market one day, uh, when the 5S came out, I was there and my friend at the media market, we, we have a video somewhere in my list uh, about the 5S and he showed me iMovie and I was like, is it any good? So then he showed me some things and really when I came home, first thing that I do was grab 15 euros and go to the Albert Heijn, get me an Apple card and I immediately redeemed my code and I got iMovie. iMovie, really my friends, for real, if you have a YouTube channel, you know, do yourself a favor, buy a second-hand iPhone just for the editing, you know, just for knowing what whatever you're missing out there. I'm not saying that you cannot do it with Android. I showed a nice video that I, you know, kind of created with, but this is even more powerful, really. And it's very stable, never crashes, you know, Never ever. I never had a crash in the middle of Windows Movie, uh, I mo in, in iMovie, uh, saying uh, this program has stopped, you know, or things like that. So it's very, very good. So is an iPhone 4S still any good? Well, I don't know for you, but if you are a YouTube channel creator, of, I mean video creator, then you must say yes. Yes, it's, it's good phone. Yes, of course and you should still use it but then probably not for you know walking on the street with it you know because yeah many of your friends will say oh this is old phone but these are stupid friends because they don't know what you are doing with it they were only probably doing whatsapp and and you know not even knowing what they were doing and why they were having that phone probably because of the little apple there but then the thing, the thing felt out of their hands and the screen is totally cracked. That, my, that while mine, for more than four years, it looks still like new. I even have my old iPhone 4G still. And the 4G can also do the same what I'm showing you here. Even though it's using a version before this one, it has all the elements. So yes, you can also use iPhone 4G. I'm rendering at this moment a video of 25 minutes and 10 seconds. I showed you in my previous video how long it took. You know, I, I, I find it kind of interesting 
to see rendering times. Rendering times, if, in fact, I find them important things. It's still running, okay. As you can see here, we are rendering now for nine minutes and 37 seconds. And this is where we are. So, tja, the rendering on this old iPhone 4S won't be that fast. This rendering could take maybe up to, I don't know, it's 25 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes. That's how long it will take. But this is a fully edited video. Eh? This thing has uh, music in it. It has uh, text in it. It has fades in it. It has, it's a complete production. It has an intro, it has an outro, and it's 25 minutes long. Okay. So this is, is, is a task. It's not a simple task. You know, if I would do this task on the computer that I did the, the album uh, creation video on, that's for another video because I never tested that yet, but I think it, it will take over two hours. That took one hour and 13 minutes to finish. This thing, We'll finish this 25 minutes video. They're talking like you know how long it's gonna take, but you are very confused with your iPhone 6. That one is so many times faster than the 4S. You forgot how long it took at that time when you were creating your videos with the 4S puck. Your memory is not so good anymore. I think we will have to see. So that's why, you know, I'm making this video, I want, you know, kind of make a registration how long it takes to render a 720p video. 25 minutes, puck. You must also say the time, eh? Because of rendering a video of 3 minutes will go under 10 minutes. So this is a 25 minutes video. You must keep saying the 25 so the people understand. Uh, with the iPhone 4G. Uh, to a video file you know a complete edited video and you can see we are at 11 minutes and we are only here okay so this this will take a while so in the meanwhile I'm gonna do some cooking you know and I'm just gonna leave these two together here once in a while I'm gonna take a peek but this this will take a while this will not be done in under 10 minutes or or, or 20 minutes I think this will at least take let me see. I can, you can never see the percentage where it is, you know, so you cannot make, uh, you cannot uh, kind of, um, how say that for uh, predict if, uh, how long it's gonna take. Eh? So we just gonna leave this here. I'm gonna do some cooking because I'm very, very hungry. And uh, when I'm done with that, then I'm gonna get back to you. And then I'm gonna let you know how uh, how long it takes and how good the video became. All right, until then. Look at that, we're at 50 minutes and we're only at 50%. But the iPhone is still rendering, very nice and stable. Also kind of important to know is that the phone is not getting hot or whatsoever. It's not like really getting hot. I think that is a good thing. Right on time I was there. It's copying the file from the temp to uh, the picture folder and we've been rendering for, for 1 hour and 28 minutes. Now you may think 1 hour and 30 minutes. That's really long. In fact, for 2017 is it's kind of long yes but four years ago when this phone came out correction it was on october 4 2011 that the iphone 4s was introduced by apple that's almost six years ago when the first 4s came on the market you know at that time Video editing in 720p was only for people that, you know, had fantastic computers out there. You wouldn't go do it with your with your dual core or it would take long, really long. And you would need all sorts of software. And, and many times, you know, um, sometimes the test would go wrong in the middle. Boom, you know, error, things like that. 
Also, I remember that at the time that I was using my iPhone 4S to create videos for YouTube, I would make sure that the videos were not longer than, you know, 10, 12 minutes max, because uh, the files would also be kind of huge and my internet upload speed was very low at that time. So I would always try to make small videos as small as possible, but, you know, kind of keep the quality. Now with the higher bandwidth, we don't have that problem anymore. So that's why I was kind of surprised that this 25 minutes HD video, um, I was kind of amazed about the, well, surprised about the results. So yeah, this may seem long, but in fact, it's not, uh, especially because you have this as a second device, it does not need to be standby. Uh, of course, when you are uh, doing this, make sure that you put the phone on a flight mode because if somebody calls you in the middle of the rendering, I think the rendering will have to be done again. So that's how long it takes to render a video of 25 minutes in 720p uh, on the on the iPhone 4s okay um, yeah a HD video 720p if this would be 9 920 it would take a little bit longer is it still moving yeah okay so I think it's like one hour and 30 minutes okay so keep that in mind but hey you will have a very nice product so uh, i'm really uh, curious to see what it became but here you can see the light is already getting dim meaning it's almost there this is a very smart device the moment that the file will be exported you know the screen will go off to save battery yeah but we're not there yet we're almost there we need to see the exporting successful when we see that then we know that we're done so in fact if this was your daily phone and you would do a thing like this then i would advise you if you're a popular person that is getting a lot of phone calls to you know put the phone at least to go <laughs> offline for 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 this time there you go the movie was exported very nice so let's see what it became in this video you will learn how to create a kind of picture video not a slideshow but in fact you created a mix you're some dj and you created a long mix from one hour it could be a wave file or mp3 file and what you want is quality to, is very you know, nice kind of put a picture on top of it so you know the whole length of the video you will see that picture and you also want some text you know saying um, dj whatever and the sort of music that you you know created and you want to create a thing like that well i discovered that in android and in um iOS world there's no such app that you know really supports that most of the apps uh, that claim to create a nice review of that app so we can uh, and I imported one picture that I could you know I could pull it as long as I wanted but is that correct well we will have to see it's uh, 15 past 16 minutes past 5 and we started at 10 past 5 so and we are already at almost 12 percent well peeps if i'm taking a look here i can see that we are at the quality is very nice 520 very nice and we beautiful. are beautiful 19 so that video is ready to upload so what did you learn in this video you learned that your iphone 4s is a little movie editor it's a good one because you have good software and you learned that 25 minutes of HD video 720p will take about one hour and 
30 minutes. Yeah. So that's it. Now you know. But still, a fantastic phone to have only because of the built-in fantastic video editor of iMovie. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna eat now because my food is almost finished. And you will also uh, see the video that I created in the kitchen. It's about um, the new way of cooking and how cooking and you know how your kitchen in fact is also a killer in your house. And I have a new method now how to cook. I'm gonna reveal just a little bit uh, for you. So make sure not to miss that video, uh, the new way of cooking with Puck. See you in my next video and hasta la vista.